Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So I'm going to be talking to you about something that's quite controversial um, but you know what I wanted to say this. I don't know if you guys are aware but the elite Black Panther actress Letitia Wright has come under heavenly criticism for a video that she shared which was relating to the vaccine. She posed a question, she shared a video that she watched and she has received massive backlash for it. Um, there was also some kind of um, transphobia and all kind of things that was you know pinned against her so um, I'm gonna give you guys the details on that and allegedly she has quit Black Panther due to the fact that she would have to have a vaccine before filming. Um, anyway, so I'm going to get into those details, guys. Do stick around. I would really appreciate if you hit the thumbs up button and let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Of course, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> So the Black Panther star faced a massive backlash after posting a fact-free YouTube video that questioned the potential COVID-19 vaccine and just vaccines in general. Now, I know this is very controversial and oftentimes YouTube and, you know, we have to be very careful when we talk about the vaccine because, you know, we know what it is. Um, however, she took it upon herself to, of course, share this video that she watched where the presenter shared his opinion about the um, efficacy of vaccines, the dangers of taking them and the supposed origins of the ingredients of COVID-19. Um, the presenter said, I don't understand vaccines medically but I've always been a little bit of a skeptic to them. After Letitia posted the video to Twitter with the prayer hands emoji, she quickly became embroiled in arguments um, with people taking her to tasks for using her platform to spread misinformation on vaccine. The British actress, who is currently staring in Steve McQueen's, counted that she wasn't against vaccines but thought it was important to ask questions. Quote, I think it's valid and fair to simply ask what's in it, she replied to one user following the tweet that she made. She said, if you don't conform to popular opinions, but ask questions and think for yourself, you get cancelled. It looks like people are definitely trying to cancel her. Uh, someone said, you're showing an opinion piece and say it, it has scientific value by asking what's in it and if it's right for our bodies, but refuse to ask the same question about current vaccines. What information are you possibly trying to spread? Stop putting your followers at risk. She replied and said, so I'm not allowed to ask, gotcha. Someone says, you know, for someone who doesn't want to conform, you're oddly comfortable with the idea of your followers conforming to your personal religious beliefs and ideals regarding a scientific solution to a pandemic that has killed thousands, but sure blame the cancel culture. The problem that I have with these backlash is that, number one, people love, this. listen, the majority of people in this country are highly hypocritical and I'm gonna say it how it is highly hypocritical and the reason why I say that is because people love to talk about how we've got free will free speech freedom of speech when we had people like Katie Hopkins you know speak against certain topics and um, degrade certain people degrade certain cultures where people would be like this country has freedom of speech what Letitia done is absolutely nothing wrong with what she done except for the fact that she's got million of followers and obviously people feel like you're leading your followers down the wrong path and you're spreading misinformation she posed a question and she shared a link and asked a question she never said people don't go and get this vaccine she said think for yourself and of course if you think for yourself then that means that you you get cancelled because people do not agree with your opinion i believe what people are doing is that they are using this to breed other issues that they want to condemn her for for example someone said what um, why even question the safety of vaccine is not allowed? These are conversations that people are having every day. How many tweets? How many memes have I seen saying I'm not taking the cov? Um, I'm not taking the vaccine. They can take it first. But because someone makes it public, it's a problem. Like the hypocrisy, I can't even cope. I'm highly confused about what exactly is the problem here because you know when people are protesting and doing all of this um anti-lockdown protests i'm not seeing 
the same type of energy for one person who questioned what's in the vaccine. Um, sorry, if I'm going to have something put in me and I have questions that I want answers to, I'm going to pose the questions and I have every right to ask the questions. Where is the same energy before these people that are protesting? You you guys want to sit there and talk about, oh, people are dying every day, but you're the same people that have been breaking the lockdown rules. You're the same people that have been out protesting these anti-lockdown protests and protesting Black Lives Matter protests protest every other protest you've been out there in these streets but you want to question somebody you want to cancel somebody who and you want to give backlash to somebody who puts a tweet why because they are an a-list or because they have a massive following or because they are a celebrity they're not allowed to have an opinion i've not seen her say do not get the vaccine it's got poison inside it's going to kill you no she said she was asking a question. Um, you know, this really just highlights how people probably do not have their own mind anymore, you know, because I share something that I find interesting, suddenly there's something wrong with that. Somebody says, this is from the video Letitia right linked, turns out she's crazy and transphobic too. And this is another stem of what people want to pin on her saying that she's she's transphobic because the video that she shared is a lengthy video talking about different ideologies from a biblical perspective whenever people want to talk about their opinion they're transphobic if i want to talk about my opinion and what i believe then i'm going to talk about what i believe and what my opinion is whether you agree with it or not that does not make me transphobic it's just my opinion what i don't understand is how some people love to be like oh we have freedom of speech it's not hate okay Okay. but you want to now pick and choose when it's hate and when it's freedom of speech if I share my opinion respectfully and I don't understand certain ideologies and certain facets of of life then it doesn't make me transphobic it doesn't make me devilish it doesn't make me anything anything that is highly controversial that people don't want to hear about then guess what you are cancelled nobody wants to hear nobody wants to listen nobody wants to know but yet do something good like i said before do something good behave in their eyes then you be praised but say something out of line then you get cancelled and how can you judge somebody on something that somebody has said you've not sat down with her to ask her her personal opinion but because of a video that she shared because that's a part of that video you want to now spread as well the same thing that you're doing and I'm I'm using this person's tweet as an example you want to go ahead and spread as well that she's transphobic so what's the difference just because she's got a bigger platform than you do but you're still doing the same thing look at the double standard anyway guys let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section please do like i said hit the thumbs up button subscribe to the channel i'll speak to you guys in my next video